bit in the Grand Prix, and so um, yeah, just really pleased to see him up there today. Okay, thanks, Neil. They're up at safe, so we'll get back to Coles. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, seat number 13, the resumption of the uh, British Grand Prix. And what a Grand Prix it's been as well. Lingering off the inside, Jason Crump, gate two in blue, eight points so far. Hans Anderson, four points so far. Lee Adams goes off the outside. He needs points on five. So it's uh, getting down to that stage of the meeting where riders become more and more desperate. Yeah, pressure's on. Hans Anderson won't be happy with four points. Adams looking for points. Can he make gate four work? start and Hans Anderson in gate three coming round the outside that is magnificent from Anderson and second place in the red helmet Frederick Lindgren, third is Jason Trump in blue, coming He's through now second. Oh, oh, how hard right. was that down to start and finish straight, he forces his way through to second place, Lindgren tries to get back up the inside, he's off the back of the bike, no he's not brilliant control for the young sweet, now he's out of control, track really tough he's down, oh he was out of, he was out of shape for the whole back straight and finally gets off it in the middle of the third and fourth corner. Anderson's away, but the red lights will have to come on. Lingwood just can't get off the track in time. Well, it's that type of night where these things are going to happen, and I'll tell you what, when you've had a problem with uh, your ribs, the last thing you want is to have a race like that. And Hans Anderson, I'll tell you what, Kelvin, he will not be happy with that at all. No, he won't, and he was the first rider to make a start from gate three. And that was a brilliant first the start and first corner from the Danish rider. Freddie Lindgren, he was out of shape from the moment he came out of gate two down that back straight. He then got too much grip. We'll see it again. He's on the back wheel now. He then finally gets it down. He tries to turn. Too much grip. Too much grip again. Then he has to bail out. Bang in the bottom of the air fence. He does try to get out of the air fence, but he's literally jammed underneath it. There we see the second time it straightens up, he just has to bail off it. Anderson will be frustrated because he was away off the front. You see it there coming off the corner. Unexpected grip does miraculously well to hang on to it down the back straight but too much dirt now fars him straight he grabs hold of it once again it fars him once again he just can't hang on the second time very lucky not to high side bails off tough for the young man yeah and uh, as we've said just a fortnight after suffering that horrific crash yeah in Copenhagen and uh, they uh, he spent the night in hospital in Copenhagen didn't actually uh, have any broken ribs, but he actually said that he, he'd actually squashed his ribs. And, right. You know, I mean, that that must be horrendous. It is very uncomfortable. Every time you have a deep breath, it hurts. Every time you cough, you sneeze, it hurts. And when you bounce across the speedway track, it's got to hurt, doesn't it? But uh, speedway's tough at times. You can see there the look on his face, really finding conditions difficult this evening. Gutted, you know, because he rode so brilliantly in his home Grand Prix where he top scored that night. Yeah, top scorer in uh, Gothenburg in the Ullevi Stadium. But of course, Runa Halter won the final and uh, therefore won the Grand Prix. Who will emerge victorious here at the Millennium Stadium? Here we see it again. Yeah, look how much grip he gets there coming off that uh, second corner. He uh, does remarkably which hang on, but the problem is now when they've graded the material back, he has a narrow entrance to the corner and he just can't uh, turn the bike at all. And the second time it grabs the back tyre, it fires him into the air fence. Not a big get off, but just an awkward one when you're so desperately trying to hang on to the bike. That's the one that really does him in. He just, uh, no point of return there and slides into the air fence. Air fence doing its job. Yeah, the FN certainly did his job, and, uh, well... I'll tell you what, Jason Crump was also tough on him, wasn't he, on the opening lap as they came over the start and finish line for the first time, really charging hard through to, to uh, hit, uh, grab that second place. Let's get some reaction with Sarah. Well, Freddie, the last thing you want after injuring the ribs is to go in uh, like that, uh, to 